Certain communities in Lapu-Lapu City and Cebu Province are in the throes of an extended and worsening water shortage crisis. And a most likely stopgap and long-term solution to this ongoing dilemma is a viable yet pricey one. Tapping into desalinated water and turning it into fresh drinking water. Our Naomi Tabursho has more. For others, water service interruption may take hours, but for this barangay in Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu, it has been six months since water last went through their faucets. Martina of Barangay Punta Engaño says they rely on water trucks delivery daily. Magasto sa tubig, araw-araw. Tag-50 pesos ang ano, drum. Mm. Magkaubos ng ang pamilya ko, marami. Mga lima nga drum, araw-araw maubos. Minsan walang liko. <laughs> Metropolitan Cebu Water District says water is expected to return to normal service in the barangay in July as a desalination plan expects to go in full operation by that month. Na over extraction na ng underground mm. water. We are entertaining or we are really still considering na magdesalinated na. Yung nakaline up namin is mga around 210,000 cubic meters per day. For the Lapu-Lapu LGU, this pervasive problem requires a long-term solution like desalination, turning salt water to fresh water. We have five applicants for desalination for 30,000 cubic in a day. So, pag matapos na to, meron kaming 150,000 cubic in a day na water, which for us, sufficient na yan para sa sa mga negosyo na dito sa Lapu -Lapu. According to the International Monetary Fund, with the economy going steady, attention needs to be focused on expanding investments in the country. Across Cebu, Lapu-Lapu City has the most eco-zones, where over 100,000 employees work in three eco-zones. According to the LGU, among their steps to attract investors is to improve various utility and essential services in the city, such as water and traffic. This includes the opening of new roads, road widening and repair, the opening of the coastal highways as well as the first skyway in the Visayas in Mindanao. The city also plans to start reclamation of 400 hectares of land, as well as kick off construction of low-cost housing for informal settlers. We na yung 25 hectares natin for socialized housing, which we can ng 20,000 units. And yun ang maka address sa problema ng pabahay natin sa mga tao. With that, it can also help uh, the traffic problem, the flooding. And we Lapu Lapu City hopes to drum up investor interests and job opportunities for the locals with these initiatives. Naomi Timur Show for the Nation.